Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. One of the things that I've been getting some questions on since I've got the new Up Air One Plus is why do I have to do a compass calibration all the time or why should I do a compass calibration? Well, the biggest thing is, is if you're uh, flying a quad, doing a compass calibration before each flight is a good thing because this is how the quad knows where the front of the copter is. Now, I want to talk about this for a minute because I think uh, folks don't realize this. So, yes, this copter has GPS. However, with GPS, what happens is that only provides the flight controller in here its position in three-dimensional space. So, I'd like you to think about it this way. So, we have a scenario here. Um, see if I can knock down some of the glare. So we have our home point set and we fly 1,500 feet away from the home point and then we decide to issue a return to home. Well, if it doesn't know where the front of the copter is, there are two potential paths it can take to go home. One potential path is 1,500 feet. The other potential path is 25,000 miles around basically the world. So both of them get to the same location but in different ways. Now the way it knows to return back is a proper compass calibration because then what happens is the flight controller inside knows which way is the front of this copter. So when it goes to propel the copter forward it's pointing into the home direction rather than all the way uh, the other way around where it's going to go the other side of the world. Now I'm making this a little bit simplistic on purpose but the general concept is the same because basically the compass tells it which way's front, which way's back, left and right. Because what happens is it's not so much that the compass is registering a north, south, east, west, or cardinal directions. There is what's referred to as a Hall effect sensor in here, which is measuring the uh, magnetic field of the Earth. And when you do this rotation piece, what it's doing is calibrating that rotation to understand the changes in the magnetic field or the numbers that this is generating. So what happens after you do all that gyration, literally, is this now knows which way is the front of the copter because when the copter is pointing in a certain direction, it's going to get a similar reading from the magnetic field indicating that this is front, forward, back, backwards, left, and right. So this now understands how to return to the home point rather than flying around the other side of the world. Now the piece is the more accurate that this calibration is, the more accurate it's going to understand its direction. And this is one of the reasons we see a lot of flyaways, especially on return to home, is because if this uh, calibration is off, and this was one of the big problems that I saw in the initial uh, up air, and one of the reasons that I stopped flying the initial up air ones, is there was no way to calibrate the compass. And so if there was a disruption to the compass, then this thing got all willy wonkers and had of sort of a mind of its own and that's when you get this um, when you experience this in quads this is really typically what it is now um, a lot of things manhole covers cars you'd be surprised how sensitive this uh, hall effect sensor in, is in here because the earth's magnetic field is actually very very weak so it has to be very very sensitive so uh, again if you're flying around power lines that's one of the big no-nos because that's going to introduce electromagnetic interference and mess up that hall effect sensor so it's going to think it's pointing in one direction when it's really going to be pointing in another direction and that's where you get flyaways. I've actually had this happen on the Hubson uh, 501 is I flew by some power wires in a return to home situation and I didn't realize there were power wires over there and it went all willy wonkers on me and I ended up having to crash it uh, in intentionally because it was starting to fly away and when I went over uh, and picked up the copter, I noticed I was very close to some power lines and power transformers that I didn't know were there uh, because they were on the other side of this tree line. And so uh, this has a big effect on the quad. Because again, just because you have GPS only means you know your position in space. So you know how to get to point A and B, but it's like if you're driving your car, which direction do you point it in to get to point A or B and that's where the compass plays so hopefully this explains it a little bit of the importance of compass and compass calibration 
Um, now, in a lot of the newer, smarter ones, for example, DJI builds a bit more intelligence in there, uh, systems to kind of keep track of the compass, so you have to do it, I think, a little bit less uh, than you would in something like this, depending upon the logic that's in the flight controller. It, you know, so there are no tests to understand uh, if your compass is in good shape or not, or the readings are. So if you're flying constantly in the same location, but even if you are slightly different, I still recommend doing the compass calibrate. So anyways, hopefully this helped. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch and subscribe. Nope, subscribe button's over there, Joe. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions. I'm happy to hear what you're thinking. Cheers. See you in the next video.